Bryony Worthington, welcome to the University of Huddersfield. Thank you. Bryony, you um, recently set up and you chair the all-party parliamentary group on Thorium. Mm. Uh, you're also a patron uh, of the Weinberg Foundation, a non-governmental organisation uh, to promote the potential advantages of Thorium energy technologies. Just yeah. tell us a little bit, what are the advantages of Thorium? The advantages of thorium are quite multiple, really, and there's, it's a very different element to uranium, which is the element we currently rely on for our nuclear power. It has a different position in the periodic table, and it has different characteristics. One of the most important is that it doesn't decay into the same actinides, the, the polluting elements of, of radiation, and so it means that the waste product of thorium is far, far easier to treat and much less polluting. So that's one of the most important things. It's a cleaner source of nuclear energy, potentially. And why did you set up the party parliamentary group? What, what was, what's the purpose behind that? Is that to get it more well-known within government? Yes, we, we set up the, the Thorium All Party Parliamentary Group because we wanted to raise awareness amongst parliamentarians about the potential of thorium energy. Um, I think basically it's a kind of forgotten element and we wanted to bring experts into Parliament to help people to understand that when you think of nuclear power, at the moment it seems to be synonymous with one particular type. And actually there are many, many different ways of doing nuclear power, thorium being one of them. So we wanted to raise awareness of that. And actually one of the spurs for it was after Fukushima, when really a lot of people felt that it was time for a rethink, that we needed to look again at whether nuclear power could be designed in a, in a better way, a cleaner way, a safer way, and even a cheaper way actually, because let's face it, nuclear power at the moment is quite costly. And nuclear power is firmly on the government agenda. Um, would it, I mean, it wouldn't be a U-turn, but, but could it move in the direction of thorium? Is it too late? It's never too late. Um, in the past, the UK has had an involvement with thorium. We had a wonderful uh, reactor called the Dragon Reactor that, that burnt thorium in the past. So we've got heritage in thorium. And actually, quite excitingly at the moment, in Sellafield, at the National uh, Nuclear Laboratory, they're now working with a Norwegian company to fabricate solid fuel thorium pellets for testing. So actually, thorium is coming back into the mix and uh, the UK is at the forefront of that, so I think that's really exciting. You're here today to receive uh, an honorary award from the University of Huddersfield. Um, it's your first visit to Huddersfield. We hope you enjoy yourself uh, and that you and your family have a lovely day with us. Well, no, I'm really delighted to be here, and particularly because I think Huddersfield University and, and the work of Bob Swinsky and his team has, has absolutely helped to put Thorin back on the map. I mean, they've been wonderful advocates for the technology, and, uh, and that's, been, that's, been, that's the reason why I feel that I'm so delighted to be here, and I want to maintain a relationship with the university. Huddersfield has got such a proud heritage of its involvement in the Industrial Revolution, and I'm hoping that the university is going to play its part in the next Industrial Revolution, which is needed to tackle climate change. So, yes, I'm delighted to be here today, and very much looking forward to the ceremony. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.